in light of ongoing reports and our previous coverage on the financial misconduct by Credit Bulls Investments, headquartered in Jamnagar, Gujarat. We would like to provide an update on the developments concerning the situation that has adversely affected approximately 2,000 investors, including many retirees. These individuals invested their retirement funds in Credit Bulls Investments, anticipating monthly returns to support their regular expenses. Regrettably, these investors are now struggling to reclaim their investments. On 28 March 2024, a first information report FIR was filed against Mr. Daval Solni, the CEO of Credit Bulls Investments, and his associates at the Jamnagarbi Division Police Station. Mr. Solni is suspected of fleeing to Dubai, likely in an attempt to avoid legal action in India. Similarly, his brother, Mr. Yash Solni, head of HR at Credit Bulls Investments, has also escaped to Dubai. His anticipatory bail plea was rejected on 1 May 2024. In response, the Jamnagar Cyber Crime Unit has established a special investigation team to probe this case further. The SIT, led by Mr. Prem Sukhdalu, Superintendent of Police, and supported by Mr. P. P. Jha, Police Inspector of the Jamnagarbi Division Police Station, is diligently working to address this serious issue. Concerns have been raised about Mr. M. K. Baloch, a Jamnagar-based advocate, known to have close ties with Mr. Daval Solni. Mr. Baloch's frequent visits to the Credit Bulls Investments Office and his potential knowledge of internal operations suggest that he could provide critical information regarding the whereabouts of the Solni brothers and the operations of Credit Bulls Investments. We urge the SIT and the Jamnagar police to pursue all leads, including information that Mr. Baloch may hold to expedite the investigation of this extensive financial fraud. It is distressing to note that this situation has already resulted in tragic outcomes, including two fatalities in Bangalore, one due to a heart attack, and another from suicide linked to the stress and financial strain caused by this fraud. We hope for swift justice and the prompt recovery of the investors' hard-earned money, ensuring that no further harm comes to those affected by this ordeal.